Alrighty, in today's video, I'm going to discuss a really common trend in the greater Toronto area, and that is the discussion of whether Canada's Wonderland is so overpriced. In fact, people call it like the most overpriced thing to do in all of Ontario. And I'm here to talk to you guys today about my opinions on that and to shut it down. So, I've been hearing a lot this year. Canada's Wonderland has obviously been dead. It started in July. June was really busy, really successful. And then July, it slowed down. Um, you notice it if you go to the park, the lines are about 20 minutes max after 2 p.m. And then at night, they're like walk-ons essentially. So definitely, if you wanna visit Wonderland, now's the time. Now, let's get on to the topic of the video. Is Canada's Wonderland the most overpriced thing to do in Ontario? Well, I'm going to compare it to essentially the events and attractions closest to Wonderland that are somewhat similar, and I'm going to compare the prices, I'm going to go over some things that maybe you guys don't know, tips or tricks on how to have your best visit and your cheapest visit. So up on the screen right now is Ripley's Aquarium. An adult, it costs about $44 to visit. That's pretty expensive in my opinion, to sit, stand on a conveyor belt and go through essentially like a aquarium underwater with glass walls and look at fish. Yeah, it's cool as a one-time event, and my opinion, if you do it once, you've, you've done it and you don't need to do it again, but that is essentially a pretty biased opinion because I hold that opinion for like the CN Tower and all that as well. Now let's compare it to the CNE. So the CNE has tickets from $43 for all day ride pass. Um, so again, pretty expensive. It, from what I understand, the CNE is like one of the most overpacked, overcrowded, unorganized events that Toronto puts on. Um, they crowd everyone in there like sardines and up the food prices like there's no tomorrow. And what's funny is all these people that call Canada's Wonderland overpriced are the same people that are going to go to the CNE and still call Canada's Wonderland overpriced. But they're going to go to the CNE knowing it's really overpriced and then complain about it being overpriced. That's my favorite thing about the CNE and people on TikTok. Next is Clifton Hill. So this is a really popular attraction, um, especially this year. For some reason, it's blowing up. Niagara Falls, don't know why people are going. Once, you, once you've seen the falls, you've seen the falls. But again, we live in Ontario, and it's extremely boring, and there's hardly anything to do. Canada's Wonderland, in my opinion, is essentially one of the few things to do outside of hiking, canoeing, cottaging, and all those fun adventure things that a lot of us kind of overlook and don't do. But again, that's not the point of the video. So for $34.95, you can get a fun pass that gets you into six attractions, and you can only do those attractions once. A ripoff, in my opinion. So let's bring it back to Canada's Wonderland. So you have options here. So from right now, $49.99, from $49.99, you can get a daily ticket. And there are deals out there. Costco has a family of four deal that includes parking and tickets for four for $200, $199. Um, you can get a 2023 season pass for $99 or a gold pass for, I believe, $120 um, that gets you in for Halloween Haunt and Winterfest as well. Great investment. Or if you're a little short of money, wait till around mid-August. They'll launch their 2024 season passes, which will also get you in for the remainder of 2023. So that's some advice I can give you guys. They have an after 4 p.m. ticket from $39.99 and bring the friend tickets for $39.99 or $49.99, depending if it's a weekend. Um, but let's get to the main topic of discussion here. So food pass food the price of food everyone says wonderland's food is so overpriced it's like that's the main thing people hate on and i find it so funny because i feel like a lot of people don't do their research i feel like people literally get to the gates or go on wonderland's website and buy a ticket to get into the park without looking at your best option so in my opinion um right now you don't need to spend a whole day at wonderland you really don't get that after 4 p.m ticket with like literally saving you 40 dollars and get yourself a single meal deal or premium all-day dining, or all-day dining. Um, so premium all-day dining gets you food and drink, and all-day dining just gets you food, and it's every 90 minutes for the food, and then every 15 minutes for the drink. Those are really good values. But if you have a season pass, get the all-day dining, or sorry, get the dining pass and the drink pass. The drink pass is $35, and you get unlimited drinks all season long, um, every 15 minutes. At any, at any multiple station. I use it for mostly water, and yeah, yeah, I paid for water, but I get my Coke Zero here and there. Don't make fun of me for getting Coke Zero, but uh, nonetheless, I get it. So I get my money's worth. I go all the time. I think these are definitely things that a lot of people overlook. So I'm gonna give you some great suggestions now. Get a gold pass. It gets you in from April till 
the end of December and rumor mid January this season, potentially don't know with what's going on right now with park attendance that could change to just the end of December, but could get you to the end of December or mid January. Um, get a dining plan in there. So it's like a hundred and something dollars for the dining plan and then throw on a drinking plan and you have literally unlimited drinks, unlimited food at your local theme park until the end of December. That is a steal. In my opinion, gold pass, $120. Meal plan, $110 on the gold class. Drink plan, $35. Get it, get it, get it. It is your best deal. But if you're going for one visit in the season, still get that daily dining pass or that premium all-day dining pass that gets you the drinks and the food. You're going to save a lot of money. Um, and you're... Uh, and buy online, so get that ticket. And again, I do suggest the after 4 p.m. ticket saves you $40, and there's no need to go before 4 p.m. Unless you're visiting from out of province or from a long drive away, then obviously go all day. But um, there are still better options uh, to get your ticket online. Do not buy it at the park. And uh, yeah, those are some great suggestions. And uh, in my opinion, yes, the parking is $25, but where in Toronto are you going to get parking for anything less than that? Um, and go to an event for the same price as Wonderland with literally three quarters less the attractions and things to do as Canada's Wonderland. So in my opinion, is Canada's Wonderland overpriced? Absolutely not. Completely far from. It's not overpriced. It's definitely worth your visit. And yeah, they had a really bad start to the season with all those rowdy teens, but they've definitely gotten that under control. So if you've been holding off a visit to Canada's Wonderland because of the videos you saw at the beginning of the season, I can guarantee you Wonderland is on top of their game and they're banning people left, right, and center down to people just filming on rides. So is it safe for you to visit? Yeah, it's safe for you to visit. Definitely check out Canada's Wonderland season passes, tickets, and everything. I 100% back that this is the best thing for your family and yourself to do this summer. And ignore the controversial topics of discussion that Canada's Wonderland is the most overpriced thing to do. It is such unnecessary hate that Wonderland has just developed this bad image for some reason over the years of being so overpriced when it's literally your best bang for your buck in the greater Toronto area. If you have a counter argument that counters everything I just said in the video, comment down below and I'll fight you in the comments section. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But we'll have a discussion in the comments section. Um, and yeah, if you guys have honest concerns about Canada's Wonderland this season, comment down below and I'll try and get you an answer to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching today's video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.